All right, hey guys, Mitch here, and i um, been playing around with my iConnect Audio 4 Plus, and um, really wanted to test something out as far as being able to loop back on your iPad. I know that they did a good video on how to do it with your um, computer. Basically, you set um, the system audio to go to a different set of channels on the uh, mixer here on the patch bay, and then just set your input to whatever you're setting the output to and you can record system audio you can you know record stuff from different dolls and stuff like that <clears throat> and see so we've had the luxury on the iPads to have interapp audio and audio bus in order to route most audio but you know there's still some audio that we can't there's some apps out there that create some interesting sounds that you know don't have interapp audio or audio bus and um, so we're kind of stuck if you just have an iPad you know trying to record and sample the sounds and so what I've done is I've deleted a lot of the uh, connections and I just have USB 1 which is where my iPads plugged into the iConnect audio 4 plus USB 1 and 2 in the stereo pair are being routed to USB 1, the same device, to 5 and 6. And then I have it also 1 and 2 going out to the analog outs 1 and 2, which is what my studio monitors are plugged in. That way I can monitor and hear what's being um, played. And so that's that simple setup. And so whatever source and see the um, <clears throat> an app that does not have um, it's going to default to 1 and 2, just like audio bus only can only output to uh, analog channels 1 and 2. You can't do multiple outputs on the output. You can do multiple ends, so audio bus will see all six um, inputs, but it only sees the one output. And uh, AUM actually sees, it sees everything. Um, but any app that you bring up that you don't, you're not routing audio to, is automatically going to go one and two. So, what I can do, I can just pull up. I just got this weird sound thing, and it's just playing out audio uh, one and two, just like it's supposed to. Um, and so, how we can easily capture that? Uh, one of two ways. We can go into Audio Bus and system we can have it listen to five and six because if you remember I routed anything that's going the source is going to be one and two it's going to be routed out inputs five and six on the USB one device um, and so audio bus is going to be listen listening to channels five and six which is going to be having the audio from the main output of the iPad going from 1 and 2 it's going to be routed to 5 and 6 and then we can easily just put audio share in then bring it up turn monitoring off and if I hit record without trying to do you know, fancy things with the uh, um, audio bus remote and everything. We hear the alarm clock, hear the door. Okay, then we can stop. And as you can see, So I just sampled that app and it works with more than just anything that um, any app so you could um, I know there's been a lot of uh, there was a big uh, forum on or a big thread on the audiobus forum about sampling from your um, iPad and uh, let me I don't want that. No, stop. Stop. Well, you heard the audio. I was going to try to pull up 
I guess I should have had this prepared earlier, but... I'll just pull up my... That way I'm no copyright anything. Um... Mrs. Jacobs requests that Kevin clean his room. <laughs> On what grounds? So if I had YouTube read, you'd be able to re hear it in the background, but I can just hit record. Hit On the play. grounds of because I said so. Uh, you and I both know that won't hold up. Right? On the grounds of I brought you into this world and it's the least you could do. Commercial's pretty funny. Um, so stop. And so... On the grounds of because I said so. You and I both know. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. So any app that, you know, just outputs to one and two is being routed to five and six. And you can do this the same in AUM. So glad I picked up AUM. It's been some of the things that Audiobus can't do, this does. But some of the things that Audiobus can do, this don't. So it's. Still kind of have to have both. I would really like to be able to put Loopy right here and be able to change, but that's can't really do that. Um, but anyway, let's remove that channel. And so what I want to do is hardware input, 5 and 6. And then hardware output, I'm going to do 3 and 4. And then what I can do is just route three and four um, to output one and two because if you have it if you have this one if you have it routed to one and two then you're going to get a loop feedback loop because anything going because it's just going to feed back into each other um, so if I had it routed to on on this one if I had one and two going to five and six, and then one and two also going to analog outs, one and two, I think it's going to uh, do a feedback loop because it's still gonna, because it's staying USB one and two, and so it's just gonna loop back and forth. Uh, and so you can easily just change that to outputs three and four. And um, somebody had asked, or brought up that Oxy was not compatible with Audio Bus, so you can't really, unless you use this button up here on Oxy, you can't really get anything out of it. So if we just press play, you can see we're getting audio. We can arm it, we can record it. Stop it. Stop. Oops. Done. Stop. And then if we go over here to files, just manage an audio share. And that was today right here. So you could trim it or whatever. You know, the same thing with AUM. You could pull up YouTube or um, you know, I don't want to get into any copyright infringement crap. But so I just took the monitoring off so I won't hear anything. But you know, I can just click on a song. You know, we're not hearing anything. But you can see we're getting we're getting information. And so if I just stop, go back, hit record for a few minutes, you can see the lights blinking, so we're getting audio. Stop it. And then we'll go back to 
audio share. And that was today, right after that one, you can see the timestamps. And obviously I'm not gonna play it because I'm not getting into all the copyright crap, but it did record that song. And so there's a way you can pretty much sample with everything. Um, uh, uh, I pulled up IMC, I was like, hmm, maybe I am PC Pro, maybe I could, you know, make an easier way to sample and be able to hear and monitor while I was sampling and stuff. So I installed that a little bit ago and it just, uh, it didn't like the iConnect Audio 4 Plus at all being its audio interface and it crashed and was giving me issues and it was still trying to output to 1 and 2 so I was getting a bunch of doubling stuff but uh, so yeah um, now I'm not, I don't have any experience with any of the other iConnect devices I know that they will all pretty much route audio and MIDI but I'm not too sure to what extent um, they will do it, but, uh, it's been pretty awesome so far, and, uh, I mean, it just opens up your iPad to so many different things, being able to, um, just basically sample itself, so just anything that's on your iPad that's, that you can't get into AudioBus or, um, AUM and, you know, sample it through to AudioShare or whatever you want to record it into you can just route the audio and um, you're done so hope this video was helpful and informative and uh, just make sure you like comment and subscribe and I will talk to you guys later